Before I ever dreamed of being an artist, I had a different dream. The drama and the uh, elegance and the discipline that it took to be involved in this medium, it just was very traditional and dramatic. I wanted to be a bullfighter. My mother was an artist and my aunt was a musician and I would get to draw with them. You know, let's go to Spain and let's go to China and let's go to Pluto and let's go to the moon. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a whole swarm of ladybugs comes and lands on us. <laughs> I was so passionate about Mass. I love Gregorian chant. I defended the Catholic Church. These nuns with their, their collars and their hoods. Even the thought of talking about having nude models was scandalous for St. Vincent's Academy. In eighth grade, she was kicked out for drawing pictures, a nun found a notebook and she had drawn pictures of Elvis Presley and that was an absolute no-no in Catholic school. She wanted me to capture her sadness so that she could understand it and look at it. And so she asked me to photograph her while she was crying. That I'm the first Elvis impersonator. <laughs> I don't know if she was the first Elvis Presley impersonator, but I do remember seeing the photograph. Time goes by so slowly. I had done the zigzags, almost uh, like entwined serpents, internal molecular structures, or the DNA in my body, or something that is intimately familiar. We lived far from any, any city, and so as a result, you know, she taught us all how to make bread, the rest we got from our garden, our orchard. By the time we left Las Vegas, he had kissed me 13 times. Of course, I kept track of every one of them. Until he finally noticed that I was just, you know, sobbing and my, <laughs> just sitting there crying. <laughs> 